heat of battle, he don't miss. No. In the heat of controversy, he don't miss. See, I'm not a monster. I'm just ahead of the curve. In the meantime, and as usual, go fuck yourself. In this video, I'm going to expose Blame Truth and a lot of other people as well for being absolute full of shit content creators that lie to you, continue to manipulate their audience as well, and do not tell the truth. And beyond that, I'd also like to take this opportunity that maybe perhaps with this video exposing how full of shit and how manipulative a lot of these content creators are, we could all learn something about each other and perhaps maybe learn something about the internet if you are so inclined to do that. But first of all, I want to talk about about how this opportunity of X Defiant shutting down should open your eyes to how much clickbait and lies content creators on YouTube give to their audiences. For the entire lifespan of X Defiant from the drop, I told you all that the game was not going to be popular with an audience, it wasn't going to sustain itself, and it wasn't a good game. As much as we wanted it to be a competitor for Call of Duty, it wasn't, no matter how much lies and smoke other content creators were blowing up your asses and trying to convince you that X Defiant was doing awesome. And the whole time that X Defiant was out, I continually told everybody this game was going to be cancelled. I told people six months ago this game was going to be cancelled, the numbers were dropping. And people like Blame Truth or Jay Bowman or whoever the hell else you can think of that gave positive views by X Defiant for the entire life cycle did nothing but lie to you on purpose. I showed you numbers, I showed you stats, I showed you information, I showed you the player count, I told you what was actually going on. Meanwhile, all these other people lied to you. One year ago when X Defiant launched, blame truth, I told everybody X Defiant just killed Call of Duty for good. Lies. Me, honestly, one year ago, X Defined is the most overrated piece of shit game ever where I broke it down and told everybody this game is not going to do well. It's not going to compete with Call of Duty. It's only hype right now because all the YouTubers were hyping it up as a COD killer to get people to watch their videos. This is a really funny YouTube video. X Defined has Call of Duty so scared. They're nerfing skill based matchmaking in Black Ops 6. Oh, okay. They're nerfing skill based matchmaking in Black Ops 6. Actually, Black Ops 6 has the strongest skill based matchmaking ever. Dude's a fucking clown. All of these videos are blatant lies when I was telling the truth. First video, X Defiant Future Content just leaking it's insane. Call of Duty sad zero chance anymore. Call of Duty fanboys are losing over X Defiant success and it's hilarious. The X Defiant dying rumors have been officially debunked. Season 2 revealed. All fucking lies. Four or five months previous to all these lying videos, I was telling everybody the truth and these guys still kept conning you. I told you six months ago, X Defiant player count is down bad. I showed facts. I showed stats i showed the actual numbers five months ago stop believing the lies i was trying to tell you these guys are full of shit and they're lying to you everyone hated on me everyone got mad everyone think i'm just stupid you're just a call of duty shield like a bunch of brain dead morons that you are and that's why i made this video five months ago saying x defiant fanboys can't handle the fact it's dead like it was dead six months ago i made countless countless videos showing everybody to stop believing this nonsense and to accept the fact this game was destined for death i even predicted to the date i told you within two to three months of Black Ops 6 releasing, they would be announcing the game is shutting down and what happened? It is shutting down. I don't know why they were so dishonest with you. Perhaps maybe they were delusional. Maybe they were living in a fantasy world. Maybe they just wanted to make clickbait because they knew those videos would get views. People who were positive about X Defined and negative about Call of Duty got subscribers and made a lot of money. Someone like myself through the entire X Defined debacle who was honest about what is actually going on and how the game wasn't good. And my reward for just being honest and authentic with my audience, I lost subscribers, did not get views, and got a lot of hate from the community, which I am slowly getting back again because my videos are too fucking awesome to deny and my talent is too great and I'm too entertaining and people are always going to come back because the cream rises to the top, baby. Now, for those of you who are mad at me watching this video because you think X Defiant was good, that's fine, but it wasn't good. You want to know why it wasn't good? Because if it was good, it wouldn't be getting canceled right now and would have a player base that supported it, but we don't have that. The market has spoken. The game sucks. No one played it. They did a horrible job with it. Those are just the facts. Take your emotions out of it. I don't give a fuck if you like the game. No one else did. Otherwise, once again, it wouldn't be a dead 
game. Another manipulation and bullshit that people are pulling out here is trying to get mad at people like myself for being negative. Well, not negative. Sorry. I fell into the trap of being a loser like those X Defiant fanboys. Being honest, rather. I'm not being negative. I'm being honest about what X Defiant is. Is they're trying to say X Defiant was great because it was competition for Black Ops 6 and Call of Duty. And if Call of Duty doesn't have competition, that's not good. Well, you know what? It isn't my fault. It isn't anyone's fault that X Defiant failed or that it's Sucked. If X Defiant once again was good, it would actually have been competition for Call of Duty Black Ops 6. Also saying competition for Black Ops 6, we need competition. What do you think Fortnite is? It's an exponentially more popular, better game than the Call of Duty is right now. It is competition. Battlefield 2042, Battlefield in general, Battlefield Bad Company 2, Battlefield 3, Battlefield 4 was all competition for Call of Duty. Titanfall 1, Titanfall 2 was competition for Call of Duty duty and what has happened to call of duty with all of this competition that it needs to make it better there goes to have eight well let me tell you what you fucking morons call of duty is the worst it's ever been so saying extra fight was needed because it's competition you're just stupid goes to have eight no numb nuts you're all stupid and you got conned by clickbait horseshit lying content creators that don't give a fuck about you but you'll defend to your dying breath but the point of this and what we can all learn from this is i can explain to you what you all got deceived and how you were all deceived was because people benefited from deceiving you lying to you and not being honest just like rage bait call of duty content that over sensationalizes the problems with the game or how about anything on the internet over sensationalizes everything to garner your attention no one including myself is really 100 percent being authentic and real we are over sensationalizing things to get your attention to make sure you watch your videos so that we can make ad revenue that is a fact that no one else wants to tell you and no one is actually being honest about the content they're providing anymore because we've all been manipulated and brainwashed by the algorithms to push our videos to extremes to get more people to watch them. And then it's a snowball effect where people have to keep becoming more sensationalized, more clickbaity. No one's going to want to hear this, but this is the truth. Just like I told you the truth about X Define and how the game was dying six months ago and everybody hated on me. I lost subscribers. People called me a cod shill, even though I am the number one longest standing negative person about Call of Duty who has been making critical content about Call of Duty longer than anybody if you know you know but let me finish this video off with one of the most important messages and lessons we can all learn and probably have ever heard in your entire life or at least in the last 25 minutes people don't like to hear the truth unless it's convenient for their own beliefs and backs up their own biases and their own original ideas that they had to begin with as albert einstein my great great grandfather and fellow genius said brilliant minds are always met with violent opposition and just like my best friend marcus aurelius my fellow general back in roman Greece days but we you know we did some doctor disrespect stuff back then but it was acceptable times change whatever hashtag no homo no man is more hated than he who speaks the truth and that's what we do on this channel we pack the steel we keep it real and you know what and really most important last but not least you know what you gotta do stay black question authority and don't let the honky cracker reptilian shapeshifter build the mobile's arm a spray and catch out 7-eleven was inside jobs got google tower 7 the bohemian grove worship it now the earth is flat, the moon landing was fake, Alex Jones, Bill Hicks, and the fluoride, it's too late. Everyone's gone, buckle up, white man, bring you down.